College athletes in Kentucky can now make money from their name, image, and likeness. The bill signed into Kentucky law today, and as WDRB's Dalton Godby explains, it was a team effort. The bipartisan NIL bill is providing protection and flexibility for athletes profiting off of their name, image, and likeness. A lot of big names here in the Capitol Rotunda watching on for what they call a big victory for the state of Kentucky. All right, that's official. The lineup in this room is hard to beat. Calipari, Walls, Stoops, Kyra Elsey, Ryan Howard, Scotty Davenport, each advocates for this bill and a game plan that is paying off, literally. I mean, they went deep in how do we protect these young people, but how do we give them the opportunity? The flexibility in this bill, like wow. UK coach John Calipari says the bill allowing athletes to earn money equals more than just a profit. You now have an opportunity not just to make money, to be trained, to be, learn as you go forward. The biggest misconception is everybody thinks that the student athletes are just going to get, get, get. But now it also gives them a chance to, to give back to the community. Cats and cards don't often agree, but Jeff Walls gets it. Haley Van Lith, standout guard for UofL, has earned quite the profit and used some of it to give back through charities. And it's something she wanted to do, and her teammates wanted to help her, and it's something she couldn't have done before. The profit, the charity, the opportunity this brings all helps the brand. Just ask the SEC Player of the Year. A lot of our student athletes, you know, they've gained a lot from this, and it's you know, causing them to build better connections and just get their name out more. The successful bipartisan effort is one the governor is urging. This is what happens when we show just a little bit of the teamwork we see in each of these programs right here in Frankfurt. Because of the emergency clause in that bill, it goes into law immediately. At the state capitol, Dalton Godby, WDRB News.